Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I wish I was there tonight to join you in celebrating the achievements of women politicians. Instead, I'll be in New York, attending a global meeting of United Nations resident coordinators. When Secretary General Gutierrez took office in October 2016, he was asked by member states, including Montenegro, to reform the United Nations system. There are many dimensions of this reform, but one aspect he took seriously and actioned almost immediately was achieving gender parity at senior levels in the UN. After two years, this change is evident, and half of the resident coordinators with me in New York this week are women. By doing this, he shows his commitment to Agenda 2030 and Goal 5, gender equality. Gender equality and increasing the number of the less represented sex, which is presently women, is why we're here tonight. The UNDP Gender Programme, supported by the EU delegation, has worked with the Women's Political Network to encourage the development of a generation of new women leaders. But equality is not just about numbers, it's about the true influence and power to change. Tonight, we acknowledge the growing work of the Women's Political Network. The cross-party collaboration you show is proof that transformation can happen when women unite around the same goal and brings, I hope, a new culture of political dialogue in Montenegro. Political differences don't seem to divide you. They seem to make you stronger, aspiring to a bigger goal of more women in politics with a greater potential to change. I've enjoyed meeting with all leaders and their political parties in offices all over Podgorica. What we discussed behind closed doors in more than 13 meetings is becoming public tonight. I appeal to all of the political actors we spoke to to hold to the promises that they made and to continue supporting the members of the political networks in their parties and their requests. I hope I will witness the changes envisaged, changes in the proportion and positioning of women in the electoral lists, changes in the funding and empowerment of women's groups within political parties, and finally, see greater representation of women in parliament, including in key positions in the next electoral round. I wish you all a fruitful and enjoyable evening and look forward to hearing about it when I'm back in Podgorica next week.